Hello and welcome to Dock Shoot for the unexpanded Commodore of VIC-20 and this was written by uh, Sean Southern and one of the, his earliest games actually uh, and uh, I sort of had a request by Lacosa to review this uh, you can see this it says 83 is the copyright on this one um, I think it looks like the C64 version came out in 85 but uh, yeah, I had a review from the Cozer. He reviewed the C64 version, and uh, he did ask me if I could do the Vic 20 version. So here it is. I'll just get the instructions. Um, yeah, I, I did actually own this back in the day. Uh, I used to play it now and then, but uh, I couldn't say it was a particular favourite of mine. But well, let's get started. So the idea is that it's a duck shoot and you've got to shoot all the targets, or most of them anyway, before the time runs out. And you've also got a limited amount of bullets, so you have to shoot the 5 or 10 targets to top up your bullets. Now, now and then you'll see some ducks coming across the screen. What happens is, if once they get to the next uh, row, they change colour, and I don't think yellow ones will, but uh, all the other colours uh, of ducks will deduct some bullets off you if they exit the bottom row of the screen. So you've got to shoot them really before they do that. Yeah, once the screen goes red, I think if there's five targets left, the screen goes red. That means any targets currently on the screen will just exit. They won't go to the next row, the level will end. And then it's on to the next level. So you see that yellow duck there will now change colour to green. And if we just let it go off the edge of the screen, it should deduct some bullets. There we go, took a couple off. And that's pretty much the game, uh, there's not much more to it. Uh, the C64 version has extra bonus letters you can shoot. And also has ducks that can fly down the screen. I never actually owned it back in the day, so I was quite interested to see that. And there's not much more I can show you. Uh, it just goes on to the next level. I think it gets a little faster. But uh, that's about it, I think. Now, the instructions do mention that you can hold down shift lock to turn off the music if it starts to get annoying. That's great, it uh, works in a real 64 because it has a mechanical shift lock key. But also in the uh, emulator you have to hold down shift, but uh, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't really work that well. Not what happened there, oh, I ran out of time. So... Uh, yeah, musically it's, it's okay for a Vic 20 game really, uh, it's not... It does get annoying pretty quickly. But actually I, I find the music in the C64, C64 version to be a, a little bit more annoying. Yeah, the graphics and sound effects are okay. The gameplay is alright actually, it's nothing special. Oops, I'm pretty... Oof. Just made, made that. Yeah, it's not the, it's, the gameplay is nothing special. It's a fairly no frills shoot 'em up. It's fairly mediocre. Um, so I'll give it uh, six out of ten. So there's nothing really wrong with the game, but it, it is fairly average. Um, it's an interesting aside. If on Lotus Two or on the Amiga, if you enter. Ducks uh, DUX as a level password. It would actually bring up this as a hidden game. And apparently, all the Lotus games have hidden games, but uh, yeah, that was the one for Lotus 2. Uh, so worth checking that out. If, if you were up, uh, up, uh, if you play Lotus 2 again, I didn't know that back in the day. 
Actually, I, I might have played the Lotus 2 one or seen it, but I didn't know there was one for Lotus 3 and I never saw it back in the day. Lotus... Uh, I can't remember what Lotus actually has, uh, the first game. It does have one, apparently. So yeah, that's an interesting aside, but yeah, this game is... Yeah, it's alright. So yeah, 6 out of 10. See you in the next video.